Living in London versus Manchester The idea of living in London versus living in Manchester has been a subject of argument for a long time. It essentially stems out from the North and South Divide. The concept uses a line to split England into two parts with different socio-economic conditions and cultures. Thus, for someone who is planning to relocate, it is tough to decide whether they would be better off living in London or living in Manchester. Both cities are an important part of England and offer some of the best living standards throughout the country. They act as a major urban settlement and are the top choice of professionals that are looking for accommodation. Similarly, the majority of the business activities are conducted in these cities. This video acts as a guide to help you navigate through the decision process so that you can choose what suits you best. While living in both the cities is full of excitement and interesting activities, there are some major differences in terms of lifestyle, cost of living and salaries. Property Prices London and Manchester have a great reputation in terms of real estate. They are often considered as best places to invest in property in all of England. Both cities offer the finest real estate in the country and are on the list of every major property investor. If you are planning a short visit to either city, finding accommodation for yourself is not an issue. You can easily find a place to rent or stay that suits your budget as there are numerous options to consider. However, if you are thinking of a long-term settlement, property prices and cost of living to place a vital role in the decision-making process. London is renowned for its expensive real estate. Being the capital city, even the smallest piece of land comes at a high cost. This is majorly because of two reasons. All major real estate firms tend to invest in London and also because the city has a high influx of visitors each year. This allows for realtors to become price setters as multiple buyers are willing to pay the price. But more recently, property prices in the city are on a decline and you can use this to your advantage. On the other hand, real estate prices in Manchester are relatively low. In fact, it is often claimed that the average property prices in Manchester are one third of that in London. This means that you can buy a much larger real estate in Manchester in comparison to London within the same budget. The same goes for rentals. The estimated average salary of a graduate living in the city of Manchester is 18,000 to 20,000 per annum. This might seem a lot less in comparison to London where the average salary starts from 20,000 per annum and goes as high as up to 28,000. However, the difference in property prices settles the debate. A one-bedroom apartment within the city centre approximately costs you £650 to £800 pounds per month and if you prefer to live outside the city centre, the prices are even less. A one-bedroom apartment or studio would only cost you £450 to £500. Pounds. Compared to London, the same accommodation would cost you around more than £1,200. Pounds. Therefore, people in London often live in shared spaces where two or more individuals share an accommodation to make it more affordable. This makes it evident that even though London offers higher salaries, the cost of living and real estate prices is lower in Manchester, making it more affordable. Economy and career opportunities London is the largest metropolitan area of England and it is no surprise that it is one of the strongest and most diverse economies not only in England but all of Europe. Thus, London was always given a priority over other cities by individuals looking for job opportunities and companies that wanted to conduct business. However, this is not the case anymore. After the 2014 Northern Powerhouse initiative, the economy of Manchester has experienced exponential growth. This has not only allowed for an increase in the living standards of the city, but has also resulted in high employment levels. High growth rates have also attracted many investors that were previously planning to invest elsewhere. In addition to this, many businesses are also relocating in the northern region. Manchester is also regarded as one of the fastest growing tech cities in England. A Tech Nation report states that tech investment in the city increased by a surprising rate of 277% per year. High growth, as mentioned above, also serves as a major attraction to starts as more and more startups are looking to set up offices both because of this and relatively lower real estate prices. This also indicates that the job market in Manchester is becoming stronger with each passing day. Manchester also has the highest graduate retention rate besides London as there are numerous employment opportunities available to young individuals that are looking for work. Population 
Due to such high numbers, the population of Manchester has experienced a massive increase as well. In accordance with the State of City report issued by Manchester City, the council expects that the population of the city would reach 635,000 by 2025. While this would affect population density and resources available, but on the positive side, further development and investment would be done making the overall socio-economic conditions even better. London, on the other hand, already has an alarming number in terms of population, which is about 9 million. Thus, it has a busy city life and it is even difficult for the local government to cater to such a large population. Transportation and travel Alike real estate prices, transportation cost in London is also insanely high. If you live within the city centre or nearby, then a monthly travel card would cost you no less than £120. And if you live outside the city, you might be saving on rent, but the transport cost that you would incur would be higher. Compared with Manchester, finding affordable accommodation is not only easy, but the cost of transport and travel is also lower. In Manchester, a monthly bus card would cost you just around £50. Hence, the transport cost is almost half in Manchester than that of London. Although transport is cheaper in Manchester, London has a well-connected transportation network. It is argued that London has some of the best rail networks and transport links in the country. However, it all comes at a cost. Transport in London is heavily taxed and you would have to pay zonal charges for entering multiple areas in London. Unlike this, transportation is not that much taxed in Manchester and it is easier to own a vehicle as well. However, the transport sector still needs development and it is expected that this gap would be filled in the upcoming years. Since Manchester is not as vast as London, cycling and walking are easier and convenient as well. You can walk if not cycle your way to work and come back without feeling tired at all. Even though both cities feature cycling and pedestrian links, walking and cycling are safer in Manchester due to low traffic levels and low population density. Food prices and going out Alongside all of the aforementioned factors, food prices and entertainment prices are also a part of the cost of living. The grocery prices in Manchester and England are the same, but London offers more shopping options. Other than this, everything is the same. But if you compare the cost of entertainment, London is on the higher end. Usually, restaurants in London are a bit pricier than in Manchester. This is partly because London is the capital city and a large number of tourists also visit the city. As far as going out is concerned, there are plenty of options in both cities for you to have fun and enjoy an evening. Weather Last but not the least, weather also plays a pivotal role in the decision-making process. If you are someone that does not like rain, then Manchester can get a little harsh on you. It has rainy weather throughout the year and even the summers are cooler than London with average temperature oscillating between 17 to 19 degrees Celsius. The weather in London is different from this. It has tropical weather in comparison to Manchester. The city experiences a good summer season with warm summer days and temperature goes beyond 25 degrees during some days. Hence, if you are a summer person, you would feel better in London than in Manchester. Conclusion London is a cultural hub and one of the most developed cities in the world. But if you are living on average salary, life in London can get stressful, especially due to the finances. Manchester, on the other hand, is emerging as an alternative to the great English capital with cheap real estate, a strongly growing economy and world-class living standards. From this short comparison, it can be analysed that Manchester is better for someone who is planning on relocating, but in the end, it all comes down to your personal preference. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe, comment and turn on the notification bell.